I have my reminder. Vinita Gandharvi Kamma. Mataji. She keeps telling me. Class is done. Come, come. <laughs> That's so sweet, Mataji. I okay. You have co-host, Mataji. You can go ahead. Hello. Hello. Video. You're after a video. Hello. I'll switch Hello. it. Out. Okay. Okay. Dini Krishna. <laughs> No, no, wait. No, no, it's okay. Let them listen. Okay, Hare Krishna. Thank you all so much for staying back. Today we are doing our day 20 Parikrama. Yesterday we, um, we just entered Kokila one from Yavat. So from Kokila one. Today we will go to from Kokila one to Seisha Sai. I'm sorry. Yeah. Krishna, you have to be quiet. Okay, so this is our route map. So Kokila one. Sorry. So Kobe, this will start here. Kokila one, then Badi Bat Betan, Choti Betan, Charan Pahadi. Then we'll go to this court one, court one which is called this Kosi. Then from there, we will go to Sesha Sai. Let's see. Actually, Kokila one, we, yesterday we were saying, we were, when, oh, prayer. We'll pray to Srimati Radharani. Shri Krishna, Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Shri Nityananda Prabhu, Srila Prabhupada and all the Guru Vargas that will be able to do our Parikrama successfully today. And uh, so Kokila means cuckoo. We know how nicely cuckoo bird sings. So and yesterday we also have seen in Yavat where Krishna was climbing the tree and making the sounds of um, cuckoo bird. So actually Yavat, Kokila, they're all close by, just few kilometers apart. So what so the pastimes that are taking that are taking place in air, in and around they are mostly in Kokila one and Yavut. Like today's Gopashtami, today's Gopashtami is pastime also. It it happened in Kokila one only. So you sweet cuckoo. Mataji is saying you have a sweet cuckoo at home too. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, so what happened one day, um, there was very nice, uh, beautiful, ecstatic, nice chorus coming from the cuckoo birds, which was not normal. So everybody was wondering, even Jatila, Kutila, everybody in Yavad, they're all wondering what is happening, what kind of chorus and what kind of uh, music and what is the sound. So they were not understanding how the uh, beautiful sound is coming. And then Vishaka Saki is on her, on her way to see Radharani. And somehow, because she's very intelligent, she understood there might be Krishna's hand in behind this. So she understood that and uh, she just thinks in her heart. Like maybe Krishna's hand, Krishna is doing something. So, Dean Krishna, come here. So he will think that uh, she will think maybe Krishna is doing something, and uh, she will go tell to Jatila. Uh, Jatila, do you want to? Uh, do you want me and Ratharani to go and find out from where the noise is coming? So Jatila says, why not? So both of you go and just figure out, but just come back carefully. Then Radharani starts going. Um, Radharani and Vishaka. They both were going to, they were walking. They were going ahead. Radharani got dressed and then they were walking. And as they were walking, they figured out Krishna is standing under a tree and he's playing flute. And it's like kids, they have choir classes. So like that the birds are doing, um, like they're in a systematic way, they were flying and then like a, like the choir, they sing together. So all the birds were singing like that. And Krishna sometimes is making like this cup-shaped hand. So he's playing flute and simultaneously he's keeping his hand and also uh, telling the cuckoo birds how to sing. So that is why very ecstatic because Krishna is involved. Such a nice, ecstatic, beautiful um, chorus 
music was they were singing the cuckoo oh, bird so because kikas krishna sang um like a cuckoo bird this is called as kokila one and this also has lot of cuckoo birds that's why it is kokila one and um, this is yes so the very important place in kokila one is shani dev temple Sh shani dev temple so when you when you go on the um road you will see this big dt of shani dev and this is the entrance shishina dev shani dev yeah so we have to enter and this is the temple and this is the dt every saturday we will have almost 25 to 30000 uh, people going to worship shani dev so the story who's that shani dev you should not be don't talk oh Like yes so what happened was one time nanda maharaj was doing krishna's birthday so he was doing it in a grand celebration and all the demigods were also coming and uh, if you all remember i remember as a child and back in india anything bad happens they will do shani puja they will go to the my mom will go to the temple and uh, then they will say once you come back you should take bath Uh, you should not uh, know some there are lot of rituals when they worship shani dev my mom always used to take me for before marriage she took me to shani dev temple before exams before everything she would always no shani puja shani puja like that so i don't know how many of you are familiar Thank with you, shani, shani, shani puja but um, so uh, nanda nobody wants shani dev basically they think shani is bad that is the impression that the society has so nobody wants him so then and he also looks black in complexion and when he was also when he was coming for the uh, birthday then what happens was nanda maharaj sees him and nanda maharaj says shani dev please don't come because if you come others will will say we don't want to come so please don't come and shani dev written so sad he was very sad and he, and he and he goes back and we know krishna is very loving to his dear devotees and shani dev is also a demi god who is working for krishna is a devotee of krishna so krishna didn't want him to feel bad so next day morning uh, he started telling maya 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 you know i was getting a dream and in the dream lot of ghosts are coming and the ghosts are saying like shani dev temple is there in like here and you never went and you never worship shani dev so if you because you are not worshiping shani dev we are going to attack you i am very scared maya i am very scared like that he will tell and because he said like that yashoda maya immediately oh kana no no tomorrow we will go and we will start uh, worshiping shani dev so she will take um, kana in her like you know like this she will carry him and next day she will go and do the shani puja in this shani dev temple and uh, that is how lord shani dev got darshan of krishna so krishna is very merciful if you see nasheshwar mahadev past time also lord shiva yes, krishna, shiva krishna, i know this movie krishna wanted to give darshan so shiva got and now shani dev also got and as i said on saturdays So, uh, because we, on Saturdays, lot of pilig and and the thing is, if you see, they worship him with mustard oil. The oil is very thick. See why they worship with mustard oil is one day, um, uh, Hanuman uh, is oh. doing his meditation. He is always meditating on Lord Ram. So he was doing his meditation, and Shani Dev goes. Shani Dev goes, and he just challenges. He asks, like, who is powerful? You or me? Then Hanuman doesn't even care. He is very. you know he is engrossed in his uh, meditation on lord ram but because shani dev keeps uh, you know throwing a challenge kind then hanuman with his tail he just ties like wrapping wrapping shani dev with the tail so tightly he wraps and then he walks this side he walks that side he keeps walking and shani dev is tied right so shani dev is also rolling along with him and then his body gets so sore like lot of pain and lot of sore and he says please leave me like that and then um, shani dev is uh, then he will let hanuman will let him free let him go but because shani dev's body is very sore uh because of the rocks hitting and the um, tail of hanuman was holding him tight so that is the reason hanuman brings mustard oil mustard oil is very good for massage so he brings it and he massages um, shani dev so that is why even till today in shri dev temple they will worship shani dev with mustard oil and also many times um, and also one time what happens narada muni uh, lakshmi ji and um, Shani Dev, they both will come to Narada Muni, and they will ask who is great, who is great to me, God, me or Lakshmi Ji. So when Lakshmi Ji goes inside, Narada Muni says you are great, and she comes outside. 
Shanidev goes inside and he will tell, say to Shanidev, like, you are great. So they both understand that Narada Muni is saying both of them are great. Then uh, Yashoda Maya didn't understand. Okay. Sorry, oh, yeah. sorry. Uh, I was thinking. So then Lakshmi and uh, Shanidev were not understanding what is happening. Why is he saying like that? So they wanted to get clarified. They wanted to get clarified. And then Narada Muni says, both of you are great. How? When Shanidev is going, he is great. Everybody wants that. And when Lakshmi ji is coming inside, you are great because everybody wants you in and they want Shinidev out. So that past time also happened. And in Kokila one, um, one time Radha and Krishna, uh, they wanted to have some private time. So they were having their pastimes and no, the side is not there. And they were having the, pa they were having the pastimes and then uh, they just wanted to go. So they went to Badravan, then they went to Khadiravan, then they went to Belvan, and finally they came to Kokilavan. Kokila. And the gopis were searching for the for them. Uh, especially for their dearest gopi, Radharani, they were searching. And Radharani has put marks, right? So seeing their marks, they will uh, they are trying to trace Radharani. And meanwhile, Krishna leaves the they leaves the place. And all the gopis were thinking, now what should we do? Radharani is very sad because Krishna left. So how can we bring back Krishna? So thinking like that, all the gopis will come to a decision. They will be sitting and they will start glorifying Krishna. So in His Holiness Indra Maharaj was explaining the lesson that we have to learn is from the gopis past time here at Kokilavan. So when we sing glories of Krishna, then Krishna appears. So chanting is also like glorifying Krishna. Uh, you know, connecting with Krishna. So he says that Kirtan, the Harina, has the equal power to call back Krishna. He will come back if you're calling like how the gopis are calling. So they all sat here and they were glorifying Krishna and then actually Krishna comes back. That also happened in uh, Kokilavan. And then as we are going, we'll see the Betan uh, sitting places. So uh, Badi, Badi and Chota. So Badi is bigger one. Chota is small, small. So there are two places here. Why there are, we have seen so many sitting places. Nanda Maharaj's Baitak was there. Now this is Krishna's and Balaram's. The bigger one belongs to Balaram. The smaller one belongs to Krishna. So this is explained uh, in uh, Bhakti Ratnakar. So what happened? Uh, one time uh, Balaram overhears when Krishna is getting dressed. Yashoda Maya was dressing Krishna. So he will be complaining, like how little children, now my son does that, Dina Krishna, anything Jagannath does, he comes and says complaining. So, so like the Krishna complains, Maya, Maya, do you know yesterday, uh, Bal Balaram, Dauji, like Bhaiya, he um, killed a donkey. But Yashoda Maya was not paying much attention because she knows Balaram is very strong. She was not re really worried. And she's not surprised because... She knows that Balaram is very strong, so he can do that. So he was complaining and Balaram overhears. And Balaram thinks, what is this Krishna is complaining on me? So his kind of transcendental anger he tries to show. And next day morning, he will like, he will think, no, I will not talk to Krishna. And uh, he will sit separately and uh, Krishna sits separately. So there, that's why there are two sitting places. And uh, there is a small Dauji temple at the Balaram's sitting place. The small, like in whole Vrindavan, we'll see a lot of. So, um, these are the sitting places of Balaram and Krishna. And then Sanatan Goswami also visited this village as we were discussing. Sanatan Goswami is a favorite of whole of Vrindavan. Everybody likes him. So, he also visited Kokila one. It is explained in uh, Bhakti Ratnakar and the villagers pleaded him. They said, please don't leave. If you leave, it, it is a, like, you know, it's, we feel as if we, are, we have lost our breath. So please stay back because he was very nice, very kind, inquiring about everybody. So they all wanted to decide. They, they were pleading him. So um, Sanatan Goswami stayed here for little, uh, some time. He spent some time here. And then here also there is Charan Pahadi. Um, we have seen in Kamyavan Krishna's uh, footprints, but here not only Krishna's footprints, we will see the footprints of the animals, we will see the footprints of other gopis, gopas as well, but I couldn't find a picture, Charan Pahadi is also there here in Kokilavan. Then we are coming to um, Kotwan. Um, this is called as Kotaravan, Kotwan, and it's Kosi. Actually, if you remember uh, Prabhupada's Lilamrit, uh, in Lilamrit, this place Kosi is mentioned. So that Kosi, which Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Maharaj has visited during his Prajamandal Parikrama uh, by Charan Prabhupada, was in. 
Abhay Charan was in Allahabad and he comes to know his Guru Maharaj came on uh, Parikrama. So because he came to know that his Guru Maharaj came on a Parikrama, he comes to meet him. And when he comes to meet him, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Maharaj was giving lecture and, he, and also they made an announcement that um, there is a small time before he gives lecture. If anybody wants to go to... Um, uh, Sesha Sai, because next we are going to Sesha Sai. So they will say, if you want to go to Sesha Sai, you can go. You, in between the, the time gap, you can go or you can wait here. But Prabhupada thought, no, Sesha Sai, I can see any time. But I don't get time to spend with my Guru Maharaj. So he stayed back. He didn't um, he didn't go. He stayed back and he was hearing his Guru Maharaj's lecture. And uh, his Guru Maharaj also acknowledged many times that how sincere Abhay Charan was and how submissive he was and how eager, uh, eagerness he had to hear. So Prabhupada came here. His Guru Maharaj came here to this place, Kosi. This is called as uh, today's like Kotravan. So one, one very um, sweet pastime happened. So Kosi means who is there? Like who is that? Kosi, who is that? So what happens was one time Krishna comes to Radharani. And Radharani just wanted to tease Krishna. So she's acting as if she doesn't know who is uh, calling her. So Krishna will make a sound. And then Radharani will be saying, Kosi, who's that? Who's that? And Krishna says, um, uh, he says what? I'm Hari. Huh. First he says, I am Hari. Then Radharani says, like in um, Narshim Marti, we sing Keshava Drita Narahari Rupa, lion, right? So she says, oh no, lion, lion, lion came. I will not come outside. I will not come outside. Like that she will say. And then Krishna, oh, again, I lost. So he, because Radharani is very intelligent. Many times she defeats him in an argument. So he says, I am Shri Hari. Then she, when she asks Kosi, he will say, I am Shri Hari. So um, she says, oh, she here is a monkey. Oh my God, this monkey comes and steals all our stuff. I'm not going to open the door. I'm not going to open the door. And he will say again, she again, she says, Kosi. And he will say, I am Shama Sundar. So she says, oh, monsoon cloud. Oh, why did you come now? If you come and you, if, you know, if the rain is coming, uh, then if you bring rain with you, the whole crop and the farmers will be in trouble. Don't come, don't come, just go away. Then he will say, I am Madhav. Then you say, you're a spring season. Why spring comes in the middle of um, winter? What are you saying? Like, I don't know what you're saying. So again, you'll say, I am Madhusudan. She will say, oh, bumblebee. Oh, bumblebee always stings me. I don't like bumblebee. I don't like bumblebee. I'm not going to open the door. Then finally, you say, I'm Krishna. Then she says, oh, Krishna snake. You are a snake, that black snake. Oh, it's very dangerous. I'm not going to open the door. So like that, there's a sweet conversation that happened in Kosi. Maybe finally she opened the door, Krishna. Krishna. So Krishna, the Radharani was uh, defeating um, Krishna in argument, and she was, Maybe she she said was, she was and... teasing him. So that happened in Kosi, two pastimes, Prabhupada and uh, Radha Krishna pastime. And now we will be going to Sesha Sai. Sesha Sai, um, this, like this DT, uh, I, I think I don't have the DT's picture. But if you go to Sesha Sai, uh, like this kind of uh, DT is there, blackish. That's the D. Yeah, so black, blackish DT of like this. So one time what happened, Krishna comes late to see the gopis and then gopi asked what has happened. Like, you know, why did you come late? And he says, what's the Rishi's name? I think Surya Rishi. If I, I forgot the name, but he mentions one Rishi's name. And he says, Surya Rishi. Surya Rishi, I think. So he says this Rishi is uh, meditating on the uh, yogurt ocean. So there's milk ocean, yogurt ocean. So he was meditating there. And because the yogurt is a lot of, on the top, there's a lot of cream, foam, it gets greasy. So all that accumulated on the edge where he is um, uh, meditating. And uh, because it became very greasy, he fell down into the ocean of yogurt. And uh, as soon as he, um, he fell down into the ocean of yogurt, he called me for help. He was asking my help because he was asking Vishnu's uh, help. So I, because I am Vishnu, I just went to help him. And, uh, and because anyways, I went there, I wanted to meet Shiroda Kashai Vishnu. So I went to Kshiroda Kashai Vishnu and I, I went and I had his darshan. So I came late. Then the gopis, always they don't believe. Like, ah, Krishna, what are you saying? We will not believe. Like that they were saying. And Krishna says, you will not believe me. So immediately he will give an indication to Balaram. And Balaramji becomes like Ananta Sesh. 
and um, krishna becomes like vishnu and seeing this radharani gets so ecstatic so all the lakshmis are the expansions of radharani so she takes the position of radharani and she will start massaging the feet of krishna so because krishna showed that ananta sesh and uh, he like vishnu resting on ananta sesh that position so there is that deity blackish um, vishnu deity who who is resting on ananta sesh and lakshmi ji is pressing his feet i'll see if i can get a picture tomorrow i will show but today i couldn't find yes and uh, here there is one kund if you see in the map also last is uh, kshira sagar kund i think is it there in the map let us see ah she is sesh sai and kshira sagar kund is the last one so what happened is there is this kund called nearby this temple sesh sai as such is a very very quiet place not much known nobody like not much known ko shani dev temple is very famous in kokilavan but sesh sai is a very quiet place so what happened was shira sagar kund it said that this is non different from the original milk ocean and the villagers explain even till date uh, once in a year or sometime in a year it becomes very milky white and the froth like how the milk has froth so the froth and all form, forms so villagers say that so what happened the sesha sai dt the self the, the, the like self manifested this is self manifested dt so the sesha sai dt what happened the moguls threw in the akshira uh, sagar kund during the mogal attack sorry during the mogal mogal attack the villagers hid him there and uh, many deities we know how the villagers were trying the villagers and the rajwasis were trying to send them off that's why most of the deities are in jaipur so sesha sai deity is now in akshira sagar kund so but no, it was lost everybody forgot then what happened there was one villager and this villager um, he wanted to go to puri doing dandavat parikrama actually govardhan is 22 kilometers and doing dandavat parikrama for govardhan itself is very difficult but puri to go to puri is 1500 kilometers and he wanted to do dandavat parikrama and he was doing and that uh, villager he came here and he stopped in this place and he did madhu curry he had food the villagers fed him and he stayed overnight that night he got a dream uh he got a dream that um, why do you want to go all the way to puri i the supreme personality of god it i am staying here only i am in chira sagar kund tomorrow morning when you go to take bath go take bath go little deeper uh, and you feel something hard then call the villagers and bring me out bring me out and you start worshiping me so um next day morning he will go he, he will sense the hard the hard stone kind of of stone and then he will call the villagers they all will bring the deity outside so that's how now the sesha sai deity is uh, back in the temple and if you look the roof and the walls of the temple there are nice beautiful drawings and all the drawings are from natural minerals natural colors they painted um, these drawings and uh, after sesha sai lakshira sagar kun here there is a gram uh, village called paya gram so once there was a little boy and he lost his parents very early so he was by himself and he went to himalayas to do the meditation and um, he he came back his gurudev in himalayas said go back to vrindavan and you do your you stay there and he lived for 200 years uh, yes close to 200 years he survived and one day while doing his radha krishna worship he wanted to collect flowers and when he was collecting flowers he had big uh, hair and his hair got stuck um to the thorny bushes and when he was um when he was trying to remove it they were not coming and then everybody was trying to help and he said i was collecting flowers for radha rani and krishna so they only have to come and uh, help me so the uh, radha and krishna comes and he they will help him uh, to get entangled of that uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. that that boy that man who oh, lived yeah. for 200 years so that happened in this paya gram uh and uh, i think yeah sesha sai is the last stop for us today tomorrow from sesha sai we'll go to sherga that's about today's that is about today's parikrama and actually uh, we are oh i wanted to show this if you remember we in barsana we have seen that uh, jaipur temple radha kushal bihari i don't know how many of you remember where the jaipur king wanted to bring radha rani's deity from sri ji mandir and she said she doesn't want to come yesterday i found this pictures i was saying kushal bihari um no, pics, photos dina bandhu that's not dina bandhu prabhu from vrindavan this is different 
So mm, he was seeing Lalita Mataji and Dinabandhu Prabhu and he's saying Dinabandhu Prabhu is there. So this is Radha Kushal Bihari, the Jaipur deity where uh, the king established because Radha Rani was not willing to come. He established Kushal Bihari. And uh, I was, if you remember, I said Hans Gopal deity is also there in the Jaipur temple. So this is Hans Gopal. This is again, we went back to Barsana. Please don't get confused. So in Barsana, these are the deities of Kushal Bihari oh, and Hans it? Gopal. And as we are coming down Sriji Mandir, if you remember, I mentioned there is Brahmaji's temple, there is Radharani's uh, family's uh, deity. So this is that Brahmaji temple as we are coming down from Sriji Mandir. This is the Brahma's deity that we find. And also I said Ashtasaki temple is there. So this is the Ashtasaki uh, Mandir when we are coming down from Sriji temple. Next, so the no, no, that it's done. No, I have only this much. Oh, so that is all about today's parikrama. We will end it here and we will see um the day 21 and 22 tomorrow. Thank you all so much. Thank you so much. Rindavan parikrama ki jai shila prabhupad. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.